What's up guys? Jay here with the Douchebag Brigade and boy it's been a long time since I've done a video but this really warranted me doing one. Uh, yes I have a mask on because I'm going in and out of stores. Uh, I'm a little bit on that uh, poker craze right now and sports cards because I've been able to make some great side money flipping. Um, so that's why I have my mask on still. A sec I just had my second vaccine shot feeling like death a little bit but Anyway, I felt that I had to review this because, I mean, my whole, this whole page is basically Shin Megami Tensei with a little bit of other stuff sprinkled in. I am going to be having a Pokemon page, or maybe I'll combine them, who knows, where I, not for Pokemon itself, but just for the opening of packs. I know people love to watch people open packs uh, and unbox them and tins and all that stuff. Same thing with if I get, if I'm lucky enough to get prisms for my NBA and uh, selects for football. Though, to be fair... Once you get a prism or select, you kind of got to flip the whole thing. It's worth a lot more. But let me digress. So, Nocturne HD Remaster is here. I'm playing it. I've been live streaming it. I really didn't think I was going to be so down to play it because I had just got done playing uh, Nocturne. I was doing a uh, No Fusion run myself, and I was like all the way to... I wish I could think of the name of the place. Uh, where the three pyramids are, or three different buildings that you have to go into. I think it's right after, uh, right after uh, uh, the guy with the obelisk starts like getting like transforming, becoming one with the Amala network around that time period. But so I picked it up, and I, I mean, I played like a, my stream. The first one was like ten hours. I just couldn't put it down. Something about the voice acting really does. A strong service to it and yes there are spots where there could be more uh, some demons have good voice acting some just to kind of skip it but for the most part they did a great job of of giving a lot of voice acting and customization to everything I mean it's been it's been a like honestly it, it, it like makes you feel like it's new I mean as crazy as that sounds because obviously I know a lot of stuff because I just played it not too long ago though it's been a little bit now when I like think about it it's been about a year since I was doing that run so it's not that 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 short of a period of time but anyway uh so what I gotta say about the game that's really good I'm enjoying I I did I had no desire to buy any of the DLC except for the musics uh however I ended up getting all of them because I wanted to play it early I was just sitting on the couch I was like, man, am I going to play Dark Souls 3 today? You know, I beat 2, and I was a little bit shocked that I beat it because it's like I managed to shoot bows and arrows at the last boss and win that way, which was weird. I'm not an archer type or whatever you would say, and I felt a little, a little annoyed, and I didn't know if I want to play the new game plus. Maybe I will. But so I was sitting there, and I'm like, man, I wish I had a PS5 so I could play Demon Souls, uh, but obviously those aren't back order. And then I was like, oh, wait. Nocturne should be here and I had my days wrong so it wasn't here yet but it was getting close and I was just excited to play it so I was like all right let me let me get it out let me let me buy it early you know I'm gonna play a couple hours maybe I'll get because like when I got uh Persona 5 Royal obviously I played a little bit of it but I it's hard for me to like go back because I just got done with Persona 5 so I was like I don't know if I'm ready for this I'm treading over so much of the same uh, territory. But I digress. With this, I mean, it was just like, I figured I'd play an hour or two and be like, ah, oh, it's been too too short of a time since I played last. No, I'm, I'm blazing through it and loving it. And I'm playing it and I'm like preparing things. And the only thing I'm a little disappointed in is, I. so I told myself, I'm not going to use the inheritance stuff. Like, why would I use the skill inheritance? Never used it before problem is when it's like right there in your face and you're literally sitting there doing the random shuffle which they did make the random shuffle a lot easier you don't have to go in and out anymore you kind of just do it as you go but i i had i, I succumbed I, I couldn't help myself you know i was able to say no to literally everything else that was offered in these dlc packs. like I, I don't know why anybody would play this game to play it on merciful because I mean, unless you just want the story. 
Um, and I also, like, I mean, I was like, I'm not going to go to these grindy spots or whatever it is that they, they give you the DLC as much as I want to see it. And maybe I will visit it just to see what it looks like, uh, you know, when I'm not playing the game for real. But skill inheritance, man, I, there's nothing I could do. It was right in my face. Like, I... I did not want to do it. Like, everything in me was like, don't do it, man. Don't do it, dog. Don't do this shit. But I, I couldn't help myself. So, sorry, guys. Um, outside of that, I am having fun with the sound. However, I feel a little gypped because, I'll be honest, I didn't realize that the sound was only when you're on the overworld. I thought the sound was going to be, like, the muse, all of the music. Like, when you go to, like, I, I thought they were going to pretty much rip, like, Ginza from SMT1. You know, Ikabukuru from SMT1 music, and I, they did not do that at all. So, I will admit, I did feel a little bit uh, chipped on that one. That was, uh, I was a little annoyed. But I'm enjoying hearing those tracks when I'm out there, because I do a little bit of grinding in some of those spots where, you know, you go a little earlier than you should, but it helps you get the levels up. I uh, like the highway, um, when, when you get the Ginza. But... I, w I was disappointed that the music didn't extend, but I am having a great time. I, I really enjoy SMT1. I think that might be... I, I tried out SMT2 because I remembered enjoying the... Da -na 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 but you don't actually stay out of battle long enough. And their battle song just doesn't do it for me the same way SMT1's does. SMT1 just has an awesome battle soundtrack and overworld soundtrack. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much sold on SMT1. I, I did a little bit of SMT2. Uh, I also t uh, decided to give it a little try with, um, what was it, SMT4 and Apocalypse. But for some reason, for an Apocalypse, getting that intro music before the battle starts, like before you actually press attack, it's like, da -na 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 -na. like, it's just like, something about those peaceful times that just... I don't know, I enjoy more. And I didn't get that opportunity because it goes straight to the battle song the minute you enter it, which is fine. I, I That was the only thing I would say that maybe I didn't like as much as I, I would have otherwise. But honestly, the music was the best DLC purchase out of the lot. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, the game itself, the models look good. I, I thought I was going to see some more things I don't like. Like people talk about it being a little bit too bright now and not quite as dingy and giving it a dark appeal. But I'm, I'm not seeing it, honestly. And I, I thought I would. I thought I'd be the first person to pick up on that. And so far, it hasn't been detrimental at all. I don't even remember. I, I, I don't know if I could remember. I, I notice things like once in a while I'll notice like certain things look clear. But I don't really notice like the dinginess taken away or anything like that. So I've been really happy with everything as a whole. I'm enjoying the game. Um, again, nothing really disappointing part is of course, there's not really anything new, but I'm just looking to play it through. And I'm saying the voice acting is really cool. Um, I'm enjoying the Rido storyline because I've never seen it before. Um, so that's been fun and that's been a nice change of pace. Um, outside of that though, I mean, uh, as much as I, I thought I would have been a little bit more down on this just because it didn't have a lot of new stuff to offer. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I can't, I, I couldn't recommend this enough. I mean, obviously I recommend the PS2 game. Uh, and I don't care if you're all about graphics, that game is just incredible. So obviously I'm recommending this same game just looks better um now i know there's obviously i'm on ps4 i'm sure i know there's people with the switch one the frame rate and stuff like that and that probably sucks but i am not noticing a single thing slowed down or anything like that with the ps4 version I'm really happy with everything um yeah i mean the game is awesome as always um i i do have to say that i for a moment i thought maybe it was easier this time around but then I also realized how much I know this game so it's not like it's my first my, my first rodeo so I also know what to kind of look out for I still did die I, I thought I was way over leveled and I actually died to Matador the first time I was I couldn't believe it I was like what how is this even possible but uh, I ended up being fine I also made the mistake of thinking if you had anti-force 
that a demon you have would drain with uh, a weak to force that I, I guess I thought it would just hit you like normal. Obviously, that's a devil survivor thing, not a uh, <laughs> not a Shin Megami Tensei uh, ten, a Nocturne, a Nocturne thing because uh, I definitely got clobbered on that. And then um, what was the last one? If you guys are wondering, I'm almost to the Walmart I'm looking for. Um, what's the last thing? What was the last piece? Um, uh, I can't remember now. There's one more thing I wanted to mention. I mean, I, all I gotta say is so far the game has been great. Um, I would have to say the difficulty is where it should be. And obviously there's the different, uh, options that you have. Um... I mean, there's not much to say other than it's a great game and you should pick it up if you haven't already. Um, I know tomorrow's, the, I guess, I think the real day or Tuesday. And, I mean, it, it, this game should blow it out of the park. I mean, hopefully people haven't written, written too much criticism about it not having enough differences because I want this game to sell well. Who knows? They ha they may, they, I understand they somewhat half-assed this one, but if this one sells well, it guarantees us more Shin Megami Tensei like mainline games, SMT mainline maybe other Mega Ten games that, uh, that are series that like went dead, like Majin Tensei, maybe they go come back. And I'm really thinking that what if they, I mean, for all we know, they might do a full remake of games like SMT 1 and 2. If, if there's enough of a demand there, why wouldn't they do it? They got the story in line. I mean, yes, they'll have to rebuild assets and understandably that's probably a pain, but they rebuild the assets and, uh, and add like press turn and that game could sell phenomenally. So, I don't know. I, I think SMT could really have a chance of... You know, it's never going to overtake the Persona craze, but it really could, you know, prop itself back up into the limelight. I'm really excited for that. I really want to see SMT on the on the forefront of everything again because it's, it's a fantastic... All of them are fantastic games. So, anyway, that was my thoughts. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um... And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Watch my live stream if you if you want some tips and tricks. It gets a little boring watching somebody grind, but that's kind of what you need to do if you want to be able to succeed and move skills around and things like that. Just let me know your thoughts. And if, uh, if there's anything that I can uh, give you advice on or help you out with, I'm happy to answer. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. This is Jay, and I'm out.